Well, when we started out with AR-15s, we had our 20-round magazines. They finally came out with a 30-round mag. At some point, they came out with the polymer mags. We've got these P-mags and others that are doing a good job. Then at some point, we came out with the high-capacity magazines, and places like Betamag you know, came out with 100-round mags. We've got some other uh, less popular high-capacity mags. And then finally, Surefire came out with their 60-round quad stack magazine, and these have been around for about a year now doing really well. We knew that Surefire was going to come out with 100 round magazines and they've been out for the Marines for quite some time but they just finally, at least in Arizona, we finally saw 100 round magazines on the shelf. So let's dig into this thing. They're not inexpensive however compared to some of the other high capacity mags out there they're not real expensive either. They're definitely not short. It's a long magazine. But uh, again, 100 rounds, quad stacked. I guess four stacks of about 25 in there. Top, just like a regular magazine. Then it widens out like the 60s do. However, quite a bit longer. But almost double the capacity of a 60. This is the same as more than three of these 30 round magazines. So now let's take a look at this in a, mag in a rifle. Not bad. Oh, it's a lot longer, but that's a hundred rounds of ammunition in there. It does look kind of weird in that position. I got to imagine these aren't going to get a lot of play out at every range out there. Let's see what it looks like in a pistol. <laughs> okay, that pistol looks pretty cool. But uh, again, it's not going to be your magazine for everyone. I can already tell a couple of people I know out there aren't going to like it just because it's too tactical for them. But if you're looking for something to put in the closet, have 100 rounds of ammunition right away. You could do a lot worse than one of these. Now I guess they are a little bit longer than other mags, so let's take a quick look here. A standard, like a P-mag, looks like about 7 inches down to seven and a half. That Surefire 60 is just a little bit longer. So we're looking at about eight to nine. And obviously the hundred is just a bit longer than all that. The hundred is not as long as two thirties though. It's a little bit shorter than two thirties. And now we're looking anywhere from twelve to 13 inches. So once we install it in the rifle, we're looking at about 14 inches from the rail down to the bottom of the mag. Maybe more like 17 or 18 if you had an optic on there on a riser. So a little bit longer. So now let's load this thing up and see just how much it weighs with 100 rounds empty. 11.1 .1 ounces. We've got some XM855 green tip. And it didn't count it. We'll just see how much we've got here as we load it. So just looking at the piles there, that's 60. There's 100. That's about 21. And now we'll load it up. Well, that's a hundred. Yes, I do have loaders. I just wanted to see, well, one, how difficult it would be to load this thing by hand and kind of how long it would take. And it took a couple of minutes, so not something I'd want to do every day. I'll definitely use loaders in the future. Now let's see how much this thing weighs filled with, uh, again, M855. We're looking at three pounds, 3.9 ounces. So it's not the lightest magazine in the world. Set out here. I've got a fully loaded 60. It's 
definitely heavier. The weight is right here by your hand though, so it's not like it's pulling the gun down or anything. It's really designed for full auto stuff where they want 100 rounds, but heck, if we can get them and they're going to do the job for us, then why not have a 100 round magazine for your AR-15. Made in USA, made USA strong, and uh, really looking forward to getting these things out to the range and using them. So, Surefire, 100 round quad stack magazine for the AR-15. A bit of a side note in the package comes along with instructions on its features, the internal components, and disassembly and cleaning. Pretty cool. Here it is compared to one of these MWG 90 rounders. So, 90 rounds of polymer. You do have a clear back so you can see how much you got going on. It's basically a double stack that wraps around where this one's the quad stack which just comes straight out. So if you judged it from how, how much they drop out of the mag, well this one definitely drops less but it takes up some room on your side where this one comes straight down. Depends on what kind of situation you're going to be in and what you want to carry. Both made in the USA. I forget what these cost, close to around $100 I think, and you know, a little bit more than that. Now when I'm at home, my AR typically sits with a 60 rounder from Surefire in it, but I think now, judge, you know, barring any real problems, it'll probably be sitting with a 100 rounder in there, just because again, I can pick it up, I know it's going to be reliable, and I easily have 100 rounds to use without any kind of effort. So if you're looking for the most capacity you can get in your AR-15, I think you may have just found it here with the uh, Surefire 100 round magazine. Thanks for watching. The guys and gals at GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year. Practice at least once a month and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.